Such a shit can equipment to the USA. To the USA? Why would they send it to the USA? Fuck them. Fuck them. Right, that's that. Gone. Taylor. Definitely don't need that one soldier, buddy. Alright, uh, that might actually got me into hot water with my spies. Yeah, I'm technically now two. Oh, shit! So, you fucking deleted one! Oh, you son of a bitch. Didn't know it would do that. Well, I, I don't like this guy. Can I get rid of him? Just miss this agent. Yes. I don't like him. I want my other agent back. Alvin fires the Russians. Nah, let them just bleed each other as much as they can. I think... Uh, also, the USA definitely doesn't need equipment. Let you see how many uh, factors they have. Alright, we got our commander battalion. Good shit. Um, oh, you do. You'll do. That'll do. Put you on the Danish border. Yeah, I think I might do a, need to do a NATO strike it anyway. France still guaranteeing this asshole is really annoying me. But we do have 2035 fucking drones. Which is rather brutal, all things considered. Now, I do want... I, I, I kind of fucked up somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, these are the wrong aircraft. Let's, uh... Duplicate these. Deselect that one and that one. Give them to you. Duplicate them again. Deselect the yellow one and the other yellow one. And give it to him. I think I only duplicated one. That's rather annoying. So what I can do is just get this to 200. Split it in half. Assign it to you. Grab the drones. Hopefully this is fucking drones. Yes, it is a drone. We can duplicate that one. And... That's it. That looks like somebody else also has the wrong aircraft. Is that true? I think I'm for summer. I thought I did a dupe on everybody. Well, it looks like we're good. So if we look at Air Force, I only have... Yeah. Well, it looks like we're, we're good. All right, I want to duplicate one of these as well. And what I can do, actually, is um, if I have a lot of these, because I've got two of them to use for dropping, I can duplicate all of them and assign them as uh, air supply to uh, each of the special armies so that they're guaranteed to have supply. Actually, not a bad idea, I think. Right, um... It's only 1,500 days. <laughs> Not really worth it, I think. Uh, that actually ain't bad. Which airplane am I using? Or you mean airplane? I'm using the fifth generation air superiority aircraft as well as the uh, uh, for just air superiority and I'm using UAVs for all other tasks, basically. And this is a very outdated aircraft. Uh, but we're researching the new uh, transports from 2015, so they should be uh, coming up soonish. And uh, I'm researching the F-35 Lightning so I can get these upgrades, because uh, they are worth uh, worth having. Plus, if we've got carriers, I'm actually going to need these to uh, build them as well. Okay, I successfully decrypted what? Austria and Poland. Well, Poland isn't going to really help me. Alright, so 12 days for a new spy. God, I wish with the game would run faster. <sighs> I like my faction though. Like a very tiny fourth Reich here. And I hate the fact that I cannot eat you. Right, so we got 45 of these lads. Um, there we go, 15. We go half season on that. That's 15. So then all of you go to a new army group and. Move you over there. This should do the trick though. Uh, a lot of old guard. Uh, division recovery rate. That ain't bad. Well, I missed the group. And. The two panzer leaders here. That's rather lucky. You know, let's replace you with being a panzer leader as well. Alright, so. A lot of. 
colors that are the same, which is definitely not going to bother the hell out of me. Alright, so... Belgium. Netherlands. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put you for now. I don't know. Somewhere right there, I guess. Well, if I'm attacking France, right? This is a NATO country, so... I sort of just could put it on a random one, and it would be here. I think I might be able to do it now. Uh, the Czech have military access, I think. Uh, yeah, no, they have military access, so if they want, they can go. Uh, it's just that they... Um, that there's no American landing point here, so they actually the Americans even have a military access on me, yeah. So... It's just that they don't really have a landing point to work with. Because that's the big, big concern. Yeah, no, there's Romania, yeah, but they can't move through Romania because they are fully at war. So they need to bypass through uh, the Turkish here. Uh, I need to get that, keep that going. All right, let's, uh, all right, get a new transports, that's great. Got some new research I can do. That's not really worth it, so... Let's get that 1% defense. Well, Clara Hahn is back, because luckily, you know, they, the game doesn't fucking delete your troops, your, uh, your spas. Um, let's uh, keep cyber warfare going, even though it fucks a little bit my construction speed, but... Uh, I need 37 more days for that ship, so we can actually start building on a proper navy. I don't really have one. Get some carriers going, that kind of shit. So, yeah, I can declare war on them. Are they guaranteed by the fucking British? Uh-huh. Why does everybody fucking guarantee everybody? So this guy is, I think, is still alone in his own little fucking party, ain't he? Yeah. If I flip the UK, that would not. That would probably mean they won't join France. So that would be the easiest method, I guess. I don't, is France still get yeah, France still guaranteeing Austria? Yeah, I know. Contact all the NATO allies to help them in the war. Call NATO to arms. I'm more worried about the UK. Like, like NATO, I don't, I'm not worried about NATO specifically. It's more that I have now enough troops. I think I'm more worried more about getting also getting in the UK in, because that's just going to be very annoying. So... Hmm... I don't have any influence on them either. Ah! I just don't want to fight the UK with it. You know what? Let's see what we have if I... Uh, what happens if I declare war in France? I know I have troops here that I really should just use for other business, I guess. Uh, I can kick them from a faction, so I can still do the Austrian thing. So it gets to war in France. Alright, just do that. Austria, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. I have a truce with them. Fuck. Um... There you go. Let's get you all over there. Shit's gonna happen anyway, yeah. So, we're gonna go to war with NATO anyway, but it's kind of the question is... Um, like, the guarantee of the UK is gone now. So if I declare war on Austria, I'll only pull in France. Um, that will form NATO eventually, with the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg in, and Denmark, as well as Slovenia. Because those are not only NATO countries, Belgium. Because the others are in faction, they apparently they didn't accept. So, that might be our biggest opportunity to just bash through everything. So let's start making some offensive lines everywhere. Right. Got some Belgian shit here. And then we got the Danish so spec ops that can do that. Now these guys actually ah, do need aircraft, but I can't really afford that right now. I don't know how many drones I have available. I might have quite a few of them. So F... Nope, I don't have any drones available either. Because it doesn't allow me to duplicate. Nope. Doubt it. Doubt it. 
I don't have any heavy bombers either. I could use my drones for um, strategic destruction, I guess. But don't really have that set up that way. Um, I can actually fly recon as well. It's gonna be um, difficult. Astro wants to join the faction. <laughs> no, buddy. When does this end? First of June. Ah, there is my uh, baden württemberg class ship. Alright, so let's put that in. There we go. Let's start producing these. And deploy them in... There. Um, so that is all fine and dandy, I guess. Kind of glad Navy is really a afterthought in this, because it's not that important. That makes it my life a whole lot easier. Let's get some more air defense. Yeah, my biggest problem literally is just resources. I need resources, and for that I actually really need to expand, and I really want to just declare war on Brazil because of it. Because they have a fuck ton of resources, and they are not a NATO member. But they are guaranteed by the United States, because go fuck yourself. Fucking hell. Like, there are barely any resources in Europe. France has quite a decent amount, actually. UK has a little bit, not a lot. There's a lot, there are a decent amount of the Netherlands, actually. Belgium has some nice stuff. The Czech Republic has some, has some nice goodies that I would like. France has... more aircraft than I do, and I really don't know how many that is. I really, I don't have the upgrades to get uh, intelligence. I probably should do that at some point. Um, let's invest. I don't want to invest in infrastructure. Any country I'm not at war with or planning on going to war with, I can invest in. Yes, Central African Republic. There we go. Blop. There we go. Right, get that done. Push more shot away. I, let's see what we have. If we look at the Intel Ledger, we've only got a 55k in the air, and I'm just hoping that it's just better. Oh, these are air security fighters. Okay, for a second, I was like, wait a minute. Those are the wrong aircraft. All right, so we can attack now, technically. Let's save. Let's do that. Let's see how we can, uh, if we can do this. Otherwise, we'll go to war with Russia, because fuck it. Declare the war, potential enemy is France. All right, so go, go, and okay, we can actually just go, go, go as well. And go, and go. Yeah, I didn't give you any orders. So go, there we go. That should make very quick work of uh, Niger, great. All right, let's see how that goes. Salzburg seems to be a bit of a bust, but uh, they could, you know, retreat off the line there. Just attack that, will you? They really love to attack into here, actually, they don't really mind. Holy shit! Wait, France just lands troops? Immediately? That's hilarious. I don't know where these French troops just came from immediately, but uh, um, let's just quickly fix that. Where the fuck do you think you're coming from? All right, so NATO member is here, so you set up a NATO there. I want to kick the Dutch out. Uh, actually, from yeah, that's fine. Um, yellow. Immediately go there. Purple. So they could, this time we didn't get the UK in, which is actually rather great. And they didn't join a faction this time. Get into there. Let's get into Hamburg. Christ. Okay. Um, take, take Bremerhaven. And, uh, actually, they didn't even take the harbor. Idiots. It's not annoying that I just even dis that this is a thing. Um, 
Like, instant naval invasion. For some reason, they might have had sent troops because of military access beforehand. I guess that might have been the issue. I just still don't need Macedonia. Alright, so that's at least some French troops dead. Still kind of find it funky that... Um, you can't... They don't get the event call um, for NATO if I don't attack their soil. That's well, super cells, that would be hilarious, yeah. Oh, winter expertise doesn't do shit. Killed some French forces, so that's rather great. Okay, so... That gives me some wiggle room, because I have some troops that are available to, that don't have any orders yet. So I can put you in the Luxembourg in front, and... I probably would not be a bad idea to take Dunkirk, but I kind of want to see how I'm going to pull this off. This is, this, is, this is really bothering me, but, you know... How to be as off-limit as possible, being in an alliance with, uh, with America. Christ. Um... That is already really overstacked. I think I'm gonna put these guys um, here on the uh, Genevan border, and I can get these guys to go back into their own army uh, lineup. Oh, actually, got less trouble now with this. Okay, what's the steel? Uh, straight a little less with Georgia. So what's the Cuban steel? Right, I'm looking on the Air Force. Not too great. Yeah, I don't need to forget to actually assign these things to uh, help with that. Alright, looking too bad. I just noticed something here. Right, these are the love transports, it's fine. Okay, looks like we have control there. Alright, so we're not gonna have 308 case of air superiority fires. I guess they got it, but they're some mod most mostly model rules. If at, I guess the advantage that we have is that we ex exclusively use air superiority fighters, which should really help. Um, and what I'm probably I'm gonna do is switch from here to air production so we can keep the stuff up. Uh, yeah, I need to flip. I need to flip them. Uh, that is that is definitely a thing that I need to do. Um, but for now, I don't really feel like doing too much at the same time. So if I would now invade France, if I'm correctly, the Benelux should join Slovenia and France for a NATO strike, at least. Um, there are other NATO members, but I think it won't really affect us too much. You kind of have to see how that goes. Oh, before I can do that, I actually need, first need to make it into fucking France. I might be able to declare war on Luxembourg and just quickly invade them. Because I do have the war goal on them, and it, that will trigger NATO. But they're guaranteed by the... By the... Uh, by the, by the, by the Brits. So that's not really an option. So I need to get boots on French soil. I think France is hell-bent on though attacking me there, so that's fine. Cyber warfare... Are you guaranteed by anybody? By Slovenia, yeah, but that's the Czech Republic, so that's not gonna help me either. Uh, Denmark, Sweden, and France, but that could be a NATO trigger. Hmm, I can't really just attack them. What can I? 20 days. If the U. Uh, we actually wanted Sweden to take them over anyway. Hmm. Might be an idea. Attack Denmark. Quickly march through there. I think I can take Denmark and Sweden rather easily. Um, and use that as the trigger to spawn NATO. Alright, let's, let's just try some stupid stuff. We're, we are being very creative with everything right now. And I kind of love it. How's the Navy building going? Uh, probably not that fast. We've got two uh, ships here. Not the greatest, not the worst. Let's uh, let's not do that, because I'm kind of afraid what will happen if I do that. Okay, so let's just justify on here. 
Uh, this might bite me in the ass, but whatever. But I think I can take him. As long as Denmark and NATO... Yes, I, I do know. If I declare war on them, I will trigger NATO. It's kind of the entire idea here. Yeah? We're purposefully trying to trigger a NATO strike. Um, well, France is hellbent on attacking my troops. That's rather great, to be honest. I don't know how many, you know, crap to cut a reserve, but... Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is going to spend some time getting military department upgrades, stuff like that, so I can actually take a better look at what the fuck they're doing. Uh, am I... What are my spies doing specifically? They are... She is still boost, boosting nationalism. I don't think that's going to work. So what I can probably do is start putting some propaganda down. So I think that might not be a bad idea. Investment offer from Japan. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll accept it. I don't know what Japan's doing. They are pretty much a full-blown democracy, but, you know, I, I'll accept investments from countries that don't really have a lot of... We don't have the no-deal exit. That's pretty good, because that was rather shitty. Um, so There are a lot more Danish troops than I thought, but these are probably fairly light. Okay, we've got our F-34 Lightning. I'm also, by the way, banking on the fact that my Air Force uh, can take on the... Uh, the other Air Force, purely on the fact that, you know, we have a lot better crap. I also have apparently some uninvested military industries. So that's rather great, or not really, actually. <laughs> Let's do that. I uh, I need some more resources. Oh, shit. Chile, send it over, please. Canada is not no longer sending anything, really. I guess I need some Chinese and some Finnish stuff. There we go. That seems to do the trick. Some Chinese and some Egyptian. Yep, right. Oh, I need oil. I just noticed that I actually also need oil. I'm really annoyed that the oil trade is still a thing in this mod. Saudi Arabia. One, oh, that's a little bit too much. One, two, three. There we go. Alright, so that keeps, you know, us afloat. Let's get the uh, second generation stealth thing going. Let's invest in that. And there we go. Actually, I didn't realize I had so many factories that were not doing anything. Um, so we take... Actually, if we built one... Aerial air superiority aircraft a day. That's actually pretty powerful. Let's be honest. Uh, this will definitely help us shoot down a lot of enemy aircraft. Um, if we look at the air war... There's about 360 enemy fighters active. That's it. We don't really give a shit about these areas, to be honest. Because Central Europe, we only own... Like a very small piece of it. So I don't really care. And this is actually protected by, you know, rockets, so... And they're only bombing here, so I think that's not that bad. Uh, and yeah, we killed six friend friendly planes. Alright, these are our own. I don't, just got mostly disruption. If we look at the details... Uh, enemy bombers disrupted, our fighters lost, our buildings bombed. So they, they are actively bombing here, though. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but if we look at the more important air zone, which is, of course, central, central Germany... We lost 185 fighters and only 20 enemy fighters. That's it. Really? It's probably because he's barely sending any fighters. That's uh, a number that I don't really believe in. All right, so declare the war. France already in, so NATO will spawn. So, yeah, Sweden joined in. Agent got captured, that kind of sucks. Um, there we go. Um, so NATO will probably trigger now. Yep, there we go. We got a red NATO because of... Oh, fuck, you are NATO? That means that... We, okay, so we're going to launch the attack on Belgium. That's not Belgium. That's uh, this guy down here. Belgium. Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Um, I don't think I need the Danish one, really. So what I can do is... 
Did I realize I spawned another NATO member? There we go. All right. Um, yeah, a lot of people getting called in. Um, we don't, you don't need to do anything. And you are over there. So we, of course, of course, go to war with Portugal and Spain and a lot of other countries. But it's most important if we... There we go. Belgium's decided to stay neutral. Hmm. Still, if Luxembourg turns in, we'll... Uh, I'm actually attacking now French troops in there. That's a rather, a rather odd. Um, hmm. There we go. That's a better. Canada has just joined in. As long as this guy doesn't really join in immediately, I don't think it's so much trouble. Brits are moving. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is uh, expel our forces. Should have done it earlier because it gets them stuck in. Uh... Yep, all right. They are all going to get stuck in there. That's rather funny, actually. Okay, tank. Oh, did I not give you any movement orders? Did I might actually explain why my tanks are not really assisting with the attack. There we go. That should go for a lot more green numbers. There we go. We've got a lot of green numbers. So far, so good. Let's attack that, will you? It's a lot easier. But I, I'm ex expecting a lot of these smaller countries to not really be capable of holding up for too long. France is called Slovenia. That's the Slovenian attack that we were waiting for. Um, there we go. I guess most of these smaller nations that I'm not really overly worried about. I, I kind of like how Belgium was like, you know what? You know what? I've got a bad experience being at war with Germany. This time, I'm not going to get involved. And I uh, I can appreciate that. Alright, so... I need half of you to really just hop over to... Uh... Okay, I got the guys that are defending here. Can I hop over there? Not yet, alright. But I can do that. I'm going to get the Danish push going. Alright, just uh, keep the uh, strikes going fast. It's kind of great we could just take this out. Um, and not really have to worry about the French actually uh, really resupplying this as fast as they can. Alright, there's already a coup going on. There we go. Let's see if we can get this done. Still, we're fighting in the Netherlands, which is a rather annoying country to fight in because of all the fucking water. And it seems like my mechanized are actually resupplying fast enough, or re going back in fast enough that it's actually not a problem. And this attack now failed, which weakens, you know, the troops. It allows me to just do that. What happens do you have? Are you producing more than you're losing? I think I'm producing more than I'm losing. Um, mm, might not actually. No, this is UFE, sorry. I don't know if I am. Um, I'm definitely not producing enough UFE, so actually let's up that number. I'm really afraid if I... I need to actually take a look at the other numbers really for now. Can I get the... I have more than enough MBTs really. Hmm, I can do that, I think. And I can produce a little bit less guns. There we go. I think I am not gaining more than I'm losing. Because we're now one on 147. Yeah, we're definitely losing aircraft. But that's probably because we got a lot more enemy air force now coming in than we had before. Right. So these guys right. need to go there. These guys need to go here. Um, some Swedish submarines sinking some shit. Can I do a convoy escort with these lads here? Because I'm not a war with the Brits, really, so... Moldova joins NATO. Oh, God. Not Moldova. Take that out, please. There we go. This is that one. Alright, so that is at least one done. Can I uh, get across here? Yeah, okay, the Oslet Dyke is a thing. I definitely don't want to do that attack, though. Uh, get the craft here, take that one, stick in there, and put that. Just go here. Uh, 
Oh, did you get the chance just immediately counterattack? Which war is not going too bad, it's just a shit country to fight in. IRL, it would be a very easy country to fight in, because there's a lot of flat uh, ground, and it, it doesn't have as... It has a lot of rivers, but... It's uh, not as bad as it looks like here. Because every single attack here is a river crossing. Okay, what do you got for me, XB? Upper Seas for Japan... No, I don't really... That's a very good one, actually. What do you have? Nothing yet. What do you have? Uh, combined arms expertise. Good. We'll probably all of these have it. Yeah. I don't have the 25 points because I am boosting so many air zones. Um, I think she skipped on that air zone. Alright, I need nine of you. That's really terrible. Right. We've got six of them that can clean up uh, here towards Alborg. Alborg? I, I need these guys to get into uh, Kunhang. And uh, take that over. Let's take a look at the ceasefires. Who could I ceasefire? Probably the Netherlands. No, just Slovenia. Fuck it. I actually don't really give a shit about any of these. Except for the war support campaign. Um. The Dutch offense ground to a halt. It's probably because it's mostly because of the French support that we've got. Alright, I need a couple of tanks to assist on. Oh god, that's so horrible. What the hell are we looking at? Alright, um. Get two of them there. I still gotta do it like this. This should. Add the other one in as well, then I can shorten it to that one province. There we go. Should get two tanks on there to defend. All right, that's good for now. Um, I'm just going to use these lads to assist with the Dutch campaign when it's necessary. I need you to get to Gunhagen. Really? Fast, because if I can capitulate the Danish, that would be rather great. Uh, Slovenia capitulated, that's good, so that's them gone. Hopefully there's no French troops. There are French troops. Let's just completely drive them out of the country. And, uh... Alright, so we got some more air superiority crap. That's rather good. So this will give me ground attack and air superiority mission efficiency. That's also pretty good. Um... Might not be enough to really take kill the uh, kill these guys if we uh, take Copenhagen or Copenhagen. I think it's the English word for it. They are pronounced, I believe, if they, they pronounce it Copenhagen. Might be enough. Might not be enough. If it's not enough, I'm just gonna keep two soldiers here and then just take the Northern Island. Right, let's see, what do you have? You have nothing. You have inventory expert. Good. You have nothing yet. You have anything new? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so immediately I need two of these uh, to hold the front line there. So I need, I need, probably need Alborg or Aarhus. But we're already taking Aarhus, so I guess with Aarhus out we'll be fine. It should just immediately give us the island here. I think the ships that I built are sunk, probably. No, they're still alive. Holy shit. That's amazing. Oh, we got some assholes backing in. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll just quickly uh, take care of that. All right, we got troops moving into there. We got troops assisting into this one. My special forces are surprisingly good. How many ships am I producing? Very little. Because uh, apparently I have a fucking issue with getting my goods in. Yeah, that was what I was afraid of, because I have a lot of foreign products. I need to get them overseas. So Hungary is a good one, because it's a... Georgia, I believe, can do by land. Kazakhstan can maybe do by land. Romania can do by land. Ukraine, we border, so that's that. that. 
China, Finland can probably be done fine. Pakistan, Congo, Cuba, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Madagascar, Morocco, Philippines, Russia, uh, Yugoslavia, Turkey is probably fine. Bulgaria. I need one more. Uh, Macedonia. Let's see if that works. Um, let's see. Hungary. Uh, Norway. I don't know if I can get Kazakhstan. No, it says actually it says convoys next to it. So that's not Romania. We can do that. Russia. Ukraine. Italy. There we go. Uh, my big worry is actually not my factories being eaten up. That's this is actually a big big problem because I don't think I can get any real amount of oil out of Europe. So I need to try to get as much out of the uh, shitty line as I can. Uh, Tunisia, Ukraine, plus fifteen. That's actually not that bad. Uh, yeah, these convoy escorts are not really doing that well yet. Uh, hopefully, it will improve. Let's actually just go to construction, no, production, uh, and tell these guys to enter the German reserve fleet because that's this one. Uh, Factory-wise, are we losing a lot of factories? I don't think we actually are. A couple of them, not that bad though. Uh, but we are good on military factories, even though I've got some even on backup here, so I can actually get some more of these drones in. Um, wow, really? These guys are not capitulating. Good for them. Um, but that's fine. This is... God, there's like a million guys here now. The Spanish. Uh, well, we'll have to probably get through there at some point, somehow. This is all probably all mountain. Eh, this is mountain. It's rather bad. Probably cut back on artillery production. Yeah, you're right. I, yeah, I think I just need get a little bit more on air. I think I've got enough of these for now as well. Actually, we're using these in large numbers. So I'd rather not lower that number too much. All right. So I once again asking for your support, uh, Georgia. Okay, so this is not. I I miscalculated these two. So I forgot that you can see just right next to this thing that uh, what you need or not. There we go. We're, oh, we're still plus eight. Well, we'll just keep that going for now. Uh, Turkey is uh, not a good one. Wow, is there any that we can get that's not from abroad? Nope. Okay, so that's a problem. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, we just need to protect the rest of the stuff. That's basically the, our only other solution. Alright, we're taking Viborg. Uh, completed that one. Alright, good. Um, let's start pumping propaganda further into Spain. Or Spain, France, I mean, Jesus. There's a large uh, Swedish force there. Nah, Copenhagen is fine. They're fine. Right, that's gonna be the last of Denmark if I get this, you know, full the French move in. There we go. Okay, Danish have been capitulated, so we get some Danish equipment that's rather good. Ace pilot promoted. Sweden joined NATO, that's fine. Alright, so they do need some. Um, Right, let's uh, strategically redeploy these guys to here. Quickly, let's take that. Oh, it looks like we're holding fine still. And sure, I don't know what you're exactly giving me, but... Um, We can assign it to that one, and then I can actually draw a offensive order, and we'll just 
See if we can get into there eventually for now. That's fine. Okay, so this is a bit of a cock up here because it does. Oh, these guys got pushed out. That's not that great. Actually, it might be in my favor because I might be able to just push through it immediately. It looks like they actually kind of abandoned the front line here. Uh, so maybe I can actually just push this all in now. Doesn't really look like it. I kind of want to see if I can back that one up immediately as well. What the hell am I trying to hit? Everything can penetrate each other and I'm not having wide enough anything really. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because it looks... Oh, no, 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 never mind. I don't think we can get the counter. We might actually get the counter attack. Yep, that looks good. Thing is though, this is a pretty long ass crossing, so that might actually become a problem. Um, just try to get an Amsterdam if you can. Um, let's just for now assign that to there, and I need these two tanks into there as well. Well, it's some fun results. However, I probably need to take over every fucking thing anyway, so uh, stay there. Um, I need to go to Rotterdam, Breda. Let's see what that does for me. Let's get this uh, borders back up. Um, that's good. Let's see what this does for me. If I can get into Rotterdam. No, we can't. Alright, so that, that's not bother with that really it's probably a bad idea so it looks like this guy is actually leaving mm. alright um, I I thought about airdropping Sweden I think I just I don't have the air force to really support any real air attacks outside of protecting my own airspace right now so and we're still losing aircraft in quite some spectacular fashion, so... Because um, I need aluminium, which I can't really get. Alright, let's try to get at least get some from abroad, because I fucking need anything that I can get my hands on. Um, I'd rather have, you know, a little of something than a lot of nothing. And I know everything is getting intercepted, but whatever. Um... How are these guys not suffering attrition? Holy shit. Um, what I might be able to do is actually, because we have this pretty well in the bag, is tell this to strike on ports in this area. That might destroy this level 3 port, will lead to uh, some trouble on their end. Yeah, that's a fucking stupid amount of soldiers. Alright, I'm gonna need to take a little break, so I'll be right back.